What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best 3D printers in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. For all you folks who want to save a bit of money and still get a product of more than decent quality, we say check out the Creality Ender 3 V2, the best budget 3D printer on the market in 2022. We must start from the basics and say that this device brings significant improvements compared to its predecessor. The boost in quality makes this printer one of our favorites in terms of price-quality ratio and a great printer for beginners as well as advanced users in 3D printing. The Ender 3 V2 adopts a self-developed 32-bit silent motherboard, which has stronger protection against interference, faster and more stable motion performance, quiet printing, and low decibel operation. Equipped with Meanwell power supply, this model meets all your needs for fast heating and long-lasting printing. Also, the power supply is hidden in the machine, which makes it much safer. The device sports a rotary knob on the extruder, making the process of filling and feeding the filament much easier. The new operating system user interface and 4.3-inch smart color screen significantly improve the user experience. You can continue printing from the last recorded extruder position after unexpected power outages, saving time and reducing losses. The Creation Ender 3 V2 offers the same experience as the Ender 3, but has been enhanced by current hardware, including a 32-bit motherboard, quiet stepper motor drivers, much cleaner looks and feel, plus many other minor details. It also has some new panels along the bottom of the printer, which makes it more professional. Additionally, this model we're analyzing comes with decorative elements, such as a plastic cover for the printer head. Finally, if you're interested in the difference between Creality Ender 3 V2 and Ender 3 in terms of print volume, it is pretty similar because both have a print volume of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters, a simple and stable structure for a 3D printer at this price range. For the listed price tag, we are thoroughly impressed. If you're a newbie in this field, look no further than the Monoprice Mini Delta V2, also known as the best beginner 3D printer available on the market in 2022. This model is a cute little printer, only 14 and a half inches tall. While most 3D printers use left to right and back and forth rails that slide the print head, the Delta II uses three spider-shaped arms, with the print head attached in the middle. Move one of these legs up and the print head will move in that direction. By coordinating all three legs, the Monoprice Delta Mini V2 can move the print head anywhere in the print area. It's a pretty cool feature, but it has one limitation. The print area is circular and smaller than a more standard printer of the same size. For the Mini Delta II, the print area is just over 4.3 inches in diameter and just over 4.7 inches high. This model has several ways to connect, including a micro SD card slot, micro USB port, and Wi-Fi interface. You have several options to control Delta Mini V2, the screen on the device, the Poloprint Pro application, or via a cutting app. The small touchscreen can be operated with the tip of your finger or with the included plastic pen. The Delta Mini V2 is a fairly simple device to use. When you create a print file in Cura or other program and copy it to a micro SD card, press the print button on the on-screen menu and select the file to start printing. Delta Mini V2 can withstand multiple types of filaments including PLA, ABS, and PETG. You're not limited to filament from a single source, as the device can use 1.75mm filament from any manufacturer. You'll be impressed by the quality of the prints produced by Delta Mini 2 thanks to the great details. This is a simple printer that does a great job. It prints quickly and high quality and can withstand a wide range of different materials. Good stuff, a thumbs up from here. If you're in pursuit of the top bang for the buck, we say look no further than the Anycubic Viper, also known as the best value 3D printer available on the market in 2022. Anycubic is the backbone of the hobby world of 3D printing and has been producing high quality printing for years. The Viper model is the company's latest advancement in FDM printing and has received many improvements over previous 3D printers. Many pros have tested it and found it to be a great budget printer with a few not-so-cheap add-ons. There are many things to like about the Anycubic Viper. It is well-made, fast, and prints very well. It has a new 32-bit motherboard, a brand new two-gear extruder, which makes the filament safer, less prone to clogging, and more precise when feeding, and a cast-in assembly that includes an adjusting screw to help tighten the belt. And that's just a hardware upgrade. Other top-notch features include filament leakage detection, power failure detection, and automatic layer leveling are generally reserved for higher-priced printers. 
although this trend is changing for the better. The automatic bed leveling system on the Viper is great and not something that every company does well. Users are quite satisfied with the print quality. The improved extruder seems to have helped a lot more than expected. At even fairly high speeds, the prints are more than decent. The problem we see most often with budget printers is the lack of good support for cutters. Anycubic's response to cross-section profiles is to use a pre-installed profile from one of its previous printers, the Mega X, and simply change the Z height to accommodate the larger printer. Anycubic Viper is a great purchase, there's no denying it. Sure, it's an open source clone, but that doesn't make it any less accessible or useful. The improvements we just discussed make it a great choice for someone just starting out with 3D printing or for small businesses looking to expand their printing farm. For the listed price, you can't beat this one. And now we present FlashForge Adventurer 4, also known as the best mid-range 3D printer available on the market in 2022. FlashForge Adventurer 3 has long been one of CNET's favorite mid-price 3D printers. The updated Adventurer 4 brings a handful of iterative enhancements that make it a winning evolution. FlashForge is a detailed, standalone system that gives you everything you need to get started printing, including the company's proprietary software. Although not as popular or comprehensive as other 3D printing applications such as Prusa Slicer, it is cost-effective to edit and crop your model, send it to a printer, and view it via camera, all on the same platform. Inside the box, you'll find the usual packaging of spare parts, hex keys, and scrapers that you get in the 3D printer box, with the happy addition of one kilogram of PLA filament to begin with. The Adventurer 4 also comes with HEPA filters inside the toxic gas removal unit produced by some plastics. This is especially useful when your 3D printer is at home or school, rather than in a large, well-ventilated workshop. The build quality of the Adventurer 4 is excellent. Almost every problem you'll encounter can be solved by adjusting the software and adding a little extra cooling. Even at higher layer heights, the print quality was excellent. The layers were consistent and uniform with each layer, and small details such as leather texture and holes stood out well when its standard layer height of 0.2 mm was used. An additional production board is included, which allows you to grab the finished production board, replace it with a clean one, and press print again. The latest trick on Adventurer 4 is the interchangeable nozzle system. Each nozzle is a separate unit that you can easily remove and replace. This 3D printer has a built-in memory, so Wi-Fi sends the file directly where needed. This reduces the possibility of errors caused by a bad connection. We'll conclude no matter what you throw at it, from the Lincoln bus that EDL uses as a landmark to the giant dragon horse that took up the entire volume, the printer will spit out a large print. This is a quality product, and all we can do is recommend it. Finally, we present the long-awaited gold medal and the title of the best overall 3D printer on the market in 2022. And the winner is Original Prusa i3 MK3S Plus. We're looking at an incremental update of the original Prius i3 MK3S. It has changed a bit compared to its predecessor in appearance and performance, but various changes under the hood have made the already exceptional 3D printer more durable and reliable. The open frame i3 MK3S Plus single extruder model measures 15 by 19.7 by 22 inches, excluding the spool and spool holder, which are located on top of the printer. The device comes with two spool rods, so you can insert the filament into a single spool extruder and have an auxiliary spool ready. The frame consists of a base that supports a square arch to which vertical and horizontal brackets are attached. The base also supports a construction board, which can be moved in and out. In front of the production board, we find an orange panel with a monochrome LCD screen, with a control button on the right and an SD card slot on the left. In the software department, the i3 MK3S Plus uses Prusa Slicer's own package, which we've seen on both the Prusa Mini and the i3 MK3S. The software, which looks like a popular Cura program, is easy to master, guiding you through the process from uploading a 3D file, modifying, cutting to printing and saving. Prusa Slicer has three user interfaces or levels. The simple mode offers a basic range of settings and is designed to get you started quickly, while advanced and professional modes offer a wider range of settings. The print quality is very similar to the previous model, constantly above average. The MK3S Plus performed well with fine detail and handling. Among other hardware improvements the company has made on this model, bearings and axles are held in place by metal clasps instead of old U-bolts, and some new plastic parts have replaced flanges to hold the rods. Among the changes are an improved bed leveling system, stronger parts, and improved extruder airflow, all of which serve to make a good printer even better. Overall, this product delivers premium quality at the best possible price-quality ratio. You wanted the best, you got it. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now.
I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.